Hunting for Hubbies is the hilarious and surprising thriller. And in the studio, we now have the director of the film, Yinka Aduwu. But first of all, let's take a look at the film. I was driving a Honda Accord in Nigeria. And Bimbo was driving a sexy red Camry. We didn't come to London to downgrade you. The fish here, they are too stingy. And the Google are too good. Where's your camera? Uh, I'm taking the night bus. Uh, me, night bus. Please don't. Bimbo. The solution is simple then. All we need to do is catch the Mugus, marry them, divorce them, and take half. No one has ever made me feel this good before. I can't believe what I've been missing. Why are you still with her? Was you a fellow woman to me when you was texting your friends? Hunting for hubbies, eh? <laughs> well, joining me now is uh, Yinka Odu with the director of that film. Um, first of all, what I'm really interested in is what inspired you to make this film in the first place? All right, okay, so Anto for Hobbies for us is, is taking Nigerian way of uh, telling stories and making it British. And so that's exactly what it really inspired us because we, we watched loads of Nigerian movies, Nollywood, and we decided, okay, we are based here in UK, let's do something similar <laughs> in UK. Right, so what is it that makes it a kind of hybrid film? What is it, what's the British element in this? Um, firstly, the, the, the backdrop is yeah. London and some of the sub-stories in it is completely British. But um, but we had to stay true to the Nigerian storyline. So it's basically telling a Nigerian story, but over here in London. Oh, right, OK. And just explain the Nigerian story to me. It's quite fascinating, actually. OK. In, in Nollywood, we like um, those of um, great... Um, glamour and um, sometimes love and betrayal so all those elements we needed to incorporate that into the story so that is why we had to do exactly Nollywood, but um, make it westernized, yeah. if you call yeah, it Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very interesting, though, <laughs> to see the two cultures come together, though, because those are the big universal themes, love and betrayal and everything else. But it's interesting to see th this actual story. Just tell me a little bit about the plot line, then. OK, um, Antifa Abyss follows these four Nigerian femme fatales. The idea to get rich quick is a bit funny because instead of them going out to work, they decided to go after other women's husbands. <laughs> <laughs> and by doing that, they want to get married with, to them and take half <laughs> after they get divorced. Yeah. That's harder than actually earning the money for yourself, surely. <laughs> yeah, they thought they were intelligent, but we'll see. They started off in the film, because I watched a clip, by just wanting to find a husband who would support them. And then they thought, actually, it'll just be easier to get a ready-made husband somewhere else. Is that the theory? Yeah, definitely. Because they feel that the, the single guys are so hard to get, they don't want to settle down. But the ones that are already taken, those ones that are married already, will be easy. Yeah. Because, you know, a woman has taken them already, and they are fresh women who can attract these men to just, you know, get them. So would you describe it as a comedy or a thriller? I think it actually started off like a comedy, but ended up being a thriller. Oh, right. And that, did that kind of evolve as the film was being made? No, no, no. That you, was actually the initial... You, that was the initial thought. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about your background, because um, you've done fashion photography and videos before being a feature film director. So tell me a bit about the fashion photography side of things. OK, um, I started off years ago as a photographer in Marble Arch, and I used to do loads of fashion, loads of um, um, just artistic photos. But later I decided, like, my true core interest is actually filmmaking. Yeah. And um, so from that, I actually just diverted straight because I have the knowledge of picture and the desire to tell stories with images. So 
that is just it. And so, um, I, uh, how did you must have got to know because you're right in Marble Arch, which means you're right in the heart of London. You must actually have got to know the city of London very well. Presumably, that was very helpful to you when it came to making this particular film. Yes, yes, definitely. I would say I'm a all right London boy because <laughs> even though I grew up in Nigeria. But I've spent 15 years in London yeah. and I've lived like the four corners of London. And so tell me what four corners of London? I'm interested now. I've lived in South London. Yeah. I've lived in North London, East London, then West London. Oh, right. That would certainly <laughs> be the four corners of London. <laughs> yeah. So did you, you were born in Nigeria. Yes. And then you came to London at what age? I came here when I was 20. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, basically just after... Uh, a uh, couple of years in university doing a performing arts. Yeah. Uh, that time I was thinking I wanted to be an actor, so I was in Lagos State University perf doing studying performing arts. But after shortly, and I came here to further my education. Right. So you've actually got the perfect background for this film because it's it's all about film. It's all about London. It's all about Nigeria values, storytelling, and it's all about London and 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 girls who've actually developed what what some people say is. A London Outlook, one of the London Outlooks. Is that correct? Yeah, definitely. Um, we Nigerians, we really, really love our stories. We, we, we can't. You can actually. For me, I say you cannot actually take a Nigerian out of Nigeria completely. Yeah. So even though I'm over here, I'm still a true Nigerian, and I would want to tell my story, but tell it richly. Yeah. So. Basically, and I've been here for so many years and I've met loads of people with different um, cultures, different ideas of living. So I just wanted to tell people that we can actually say our story in different ways. Yeah. Even though it's not exactly Nigeria, but over here. Oh, so Joe, I just want to say this. The film premieres at the Odeon Greenwich on March the 27th. Is that correct? Yes, on Friday 27th. OK, Yinka Adua, thank you so much for joining me here in the studio. Thank, thank you, you so much. So tell me, how was your flight? Ay, 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 papi. I was driving a Honda Accord in Nigeria. And Bimbo was driving a sexy red Camry. We didn't come to London to downgrade you. The fish here, they are too steep. French Vision Media Production presents the London premiere of Hunting for Hobbies, a Yinka Ido film, on Friday the 27th of March 2015. Odeon Cinema, Bugs Way, Greenwich, London, SE10 0QJ. Red carpet starts from 8 p.m., screening from 10.30 p.m. Tickets are from £20. For more information, please call the numbers on screen or log on to h4hatethemovie.com. Remember, it's the London premiere of Hunting for Hobbies on Friday the 27th of March 2018. See you there.